One of the coolest things in maths is prime numbers, and they make up a big chunk of number theory. Prime numbers are the series of whole numbers that can't be divided by smaller numbers except for one, which is called the unit. Broadly speaking, that means that there are two types of whole numbers greater than the unit. There are the prime numbers, and there are the numbers that aren't primes. Those are called composite numbers because they can be composed by multiplying prime numbers together. If you've looked at anything to do with prime numbers, you've seen the sieve of Eratosthenes, and it's a really handy way of visualizing prime numbers and composite numbers. You've probably seen it on a 10 by 10 grid, which makes some sense because we use a base 10 number system, and it's familiar, but the concept isn't wedded to being 10 columns wide. After spending not too long looking at a 10 column wide table, we can understand that none of the numbers that end in 2, 4, 5, 6, 8 or 0 are primes, but besides that, people tend to treat the grid format like they would a one dimensional number line. There's no real advantage in stacking the number line into a grid. A more highly composite number, like 6 or 30, would be better than 10, but ultimately if the width of the table stays static, it's of little value, as you can mark off multiples of numbers higher than 2, 3 and 5 on a one dimensional line almost as easily. It's good for education, but not much more.